Brian from Moment to Ponder here, <clears throat> and um, as is becoming more and more usual, I'm in the toilet with you. Uh, bathroom, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm doing today is changing the toilet seat. Now, I found these ours get worn out, and the, the paint comes off them here. That's not dirt. That's the paint showing through and uh, plus I had an old toilet seat that was plastic and it was no good uh, so I picked up one of these um, and I have no fiduciary interest in um, in in Bemis company or anything but it's the Bemis easy clean and change and this thing is sweet I'll show you why I chose it, but this will work for almost any toilet seat. I have the round. There's two sizes, round or elongated. Um, that's round. Elongated would be longer. And they have this easy measuring thing on here. That you put this at the front of the toilet, or the at the bolts. And if this is right around the front of the toilet, you have the right toilet seat. So... <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Uh, let me get set up here, show you how to uh, do this, and uh, what you're going to need, and we should be good to go. <clears throat> Alright, Brian back again. Since I'm a horrible filmmaker, I'll do this sequentially, so there's going to be a couple of cuts in here. Um, but whatever. What you should need, in theory, is a... Uh, that was loud. Is a screwdriver. Uh, I use the multi 6-in-1 or 8-in-1. These things are like two bucks at uh, pretty much two to five dollars. If you're paying more than five bucks, you're buying something that's probably too expensive. And uh, the bits come out, and so there's a, a large Phillips and a large flat. And then that's a nut driver of a certain size. And then this is a smaller Phillips and a smaller flat uh, with another nut driver of a smaller size. And uh, they fit into this handle. Sometimes that'll be another nut driver there. Um, so a 6-in-1 or a 7-in-1 or an 8-in-1. As long as it doesn't have all the little individual bits, these things are great. Have, go buy a half dozen of them and just put one in, you know, in every bathroom or something. I don't know. And a pair of pliers. You may or may not need these depending on uh, how your toilet seat is built. All of them are a little bit different. Um, but they're not that complicated. You should be able to figure it out with pretty much simplicity. Pardon moving camera. Doot, doot, doot. My high speed dolly system doesn't work here. Hopefully, there's enough light for you guys to see. Right here, there's these little caps that hold the, uh, the bolts. And uh, I'll show you when we get to the bottom. But sometimes there's a little thumb nut down here. And sometimes. Well, so you may need your pliers and you may not. We'll see. Um, the bigger the screwdriver on these plastic bolts, usually the better. Oh man, you're going to see me strip these. There's a reason I went with this, uh, this easy change and remove toilet seat. And I'll show you why when we get to it. But you'll notice that around the edges here, that yellow, that's, that stuff, that's nasty. And it's really hard to clean. With the with these new ones, okay, now i got to reach down here. Um, you can just pop off the seat with a quick twist. And uh, once you do that, you can just clean right around these bolts super easy. So that's what the bolt looks like on the bottom. It's kind of nasty too. Um, this is just normal cleaning, you know. Um, but you, you, you look, there's nasty in there. And, and with normal cleaning, you can get that out. Alright. Got the last one off there. Again, nasty. I wouldn't lick your fingers at this point. <clears throat> that's all it takes to get this off. But look at that. That's foul. Luckily, I anticipated this. I 
I got some cleaner. But in normal everyday life, you saw how hard those screws were to get off. You're not taking your seat off. And you got this bunk under your toilet seat that you'll never get cleaned off. And, you know, you may not notice it, but now that you know it's there, that's creepy as hell. seats. I really like the wood seats over the plastic ones. Alright, so I hope you guys have paper and pencil because you're going to need to take notes because this is so incredibly complicated. Here's your sack of nuts and bolts. See how you can clean right around these bolts real easy? That's not to say you won't get stuff under there, but since you can thumb tighten these real easy, you can just get in there, unloosen it a little bit, and you can get under there like that and just, you know, clean that out if, if, you're, if you're noticing some funk under there. You don't have to take the thing all the way off. magic eraser next. Now here's the magic of these things. See that? Is these uh, toggles. You need to turn it. There goes the kids. Just turn these little toggles. That's the unlock. And then you straighten them out to be locked. So you just push them on over the top. Push it down good. They snap on, and then just twist that toggle. Now this one, see this one is not the way. There we go. All right, done. Nice, pretty toilet seat. All right, and then when you notice that it's getting funky around this. Twist that, twist that, pop it off, clean. Take the toilet seat outside and hose it off if burrito night went really bad. You know, whatever it takes, man. Give me a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And again, like I said, I had no fiduciary interest in the penis company, but they got this one right. I like it. I'll 
I'll put a link down there in the bottom for, uh, they're on Amazon too. Uh, well, it's December 2013, and I got these for 15 bucks a piece at the Home Depot in Northern Illinois. Um, so they're not much more than a regular toilet seat. I think the regular one is like 10 bucks, so five bucks more for these little clip-ons, and uh, it's a lot nicer. So go up uh, to the top or wherever the subscribe button is gone. Feel free to comment. Um, and always check out the blog, which is horribly unupdated, but uh, it's at momentponder.com. And uh, <clears throat> I'm Brian. This is a clean toilet and a nice comfy seat. Uh, have a great day.